Hello and welcome. My name is Israel from Ghana, West Africa. I lived in Ghana all my life till I was 34 years old. When I was growing up, how I see how I played was we have two palogo drums, a clavi, or what they call it, kalimbara, and uh, a big tamale drum with a handmade mallet and a, and a guitar. The guitar is the only, the only instrument that was the Euro European instrument but everything else was handmade. My ethnic group is gone. So the, 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 the style we play, it's kind of like Kolomashi. Before, before the British came, this is how the music was still played. Today we talk, we're going to talk about Ghanaian high life. Somebody will ask, what's the meaning of high life? High life is, is, is um, uh, a, a, a genre, a rhythm that is uh, polyrhythmic, syncopated, with jazz element. And the reason why we, we, we call it high life is because we combine those two. I will demonstrate how the clavi, the shaker, and, and every, every, the, the rest of the complement, how they come together. This is clavi. Actually, it's two, four, time. A one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two and one, two, one, two and one, two, one, two and one and two. Europeans call it rattled. We call it azache for my my culture. And then this is how it's played. A one, two, three, ah. Uh, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one. The other part which I don't have is the the palongo drums which or palongo or pentima. So what what I what I'm going to do? I'm just going to play the tamale part with my foot on the bass drum. And the tamale part goes like this. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, ah. So you have four on the floor, on the, on the bass drum. Now I'm going to combine the, the clavi and the and, and the, the tamale part on the bass drum. So it goes like this. A one, two, three, four. 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 And now I'm going to demonstrate how, I, how you can play it as close as you can, all the parts on one drums. And I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to break it down and play just like I did the clavi and the shakers and the bass drum before I put it all together. So, the, the, the shaker goes like this. Those are the, the, three, the three different parts, okay? Usually, it will be three people playing, but you're trying to put it all on, on, on one uh, uh, instrument, okay? Now, I'm going to split. My left hand is going to go on the snare drum and play something like this. So that's the, the shaker part on the snare drum. That's how close I can get it to one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. And I'm going to use my left foot to play, to, to double, to double up the bell part and the, and the clavier part up here. So it's going to be something like this.
So that's variations. There are the different patterns of the bell of the bells uh, in, in high life music. So the another pattern is what I what I just did. I should have explained it before I played it. But this is how it goes. The bell part, the tamale part on the bass drum, and the and the and the hi hat. Those three. A one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to add the snare drum to the part. So it's going to be like this. That's how it's all put together, as close as you can get to the way they used to play way before the British colony came to, my, uh, to, to Ghana. And I'm going to, do, I'm going to explain why it, 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 it has jazz feel in it. Okay, so I'm going to play the whole thing right now. One, two. Uh. So the reason why I was talking about it, it has jazz element is because of the symbol. The right symbol of the uh, of of what I'm what I'm doing sounds it's like straight that straight eight note sixteenth, which is one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Now, if I play it like swing, then it won't sound the same. It will be one and a two and a three and a four. Then I'm swinging it. But this is straight eighth and sixteenth note. One, one and a two and a three and a four. So that's how the, uh, the old school high life is played. Now this generation uh, uh, kids in my country, I went back home and I went and sat in at, 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 the, at the club and they said they play high life. The like, high life they, they know is the other kind, which I will, I will get to that later. So I, it, I started playing and I started, do, I, I started playing this. Uh, and they're not used to that rhythm. It's like, whoa, what is that? And then somebody said, well, oh, this is old school high life, you know? So um, usually when we're playing this, we don't always play it four on the floor uh, on, the, on the kick drum. But you, they, you have to, they have to hear like disco downbeat.
So I was like, I was like a, 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 like a kid that is sitting there and they're telling me what to do. They say, Play, let, let, let's hear the bass drum. But I grew up with that modern, uh, that old school style, which I loved way better than the, 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 the modern kind. Jazz music, when it first started, the, 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 the pioneers that, who started it from generation, they have the traditional rhythm, the form and how it's played put together. Now, as years goes on, the, uh, different generation came on with creative ideas to make it better, you know, to make it, to make it uh, 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 even more advanced than what it used to be, you know. So because you cannot, everybody cannot come and play the old school thing in, in, in you know, 2020, 2000, and play the same thing. So some, somebody is going to come up, come up with a creative idea and add up to the, to the stuff. So that's what is going on in my country right now. The, the rap music, the, the, the downbeat, and the disco sound is what they use, and then they use the lyrics of uh, African uh, uh, language for the, uh, for, for the music. You know, so everything sounds a little between Western and African music, because that's what sells. You know, so, what I just demonstrated is the old school high life. 